Good luck. Hey guys, <clears throat> and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we were making loads of stupid button mistakes like we just did there. So, we, oh my god, it's so fast, it's 60 frames a second. Fuck me, this is, it's, it's a joy to play. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. So, when we last left off, we made it to the police station. And we had a little chinwag with Marvin Brannan. And, uh... We read a few reports that basically got us up to speed with uh, what's exactly going on in this place. So, let's explore. We also found Brad Vickers, who Claire doesn't know, but uh, some of the other stars members and our favourite heroes do know. We also got a new costume and a new gun, which is pretty damn rad, if you ask me. Now, let's head up to the second floor and have a little look see what's going on around here and Claire looks absolutely amazing in this outfit All right let's get this puzzle done there we go come on move that ass there we go good thing this uh, outfit fits her so snugly and one thing I always find uh, quite funny about this as well is all of her outfits have like let me live or made in heaven that kind of thing on it so it's kind of random that she would find this in the locker. Maybe it's one of Chris's, I don't know. Maybe Chris wore this? You reckon? You reckon he'd fit in it? Maybe. Have you seen him in that sailor outfit from uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1? Remember how everybody moaned about that and was disgusted? I thought it was hilarious. Something is written on the mountain. The god of the sun and the god of the moon, their gaze upon... Me is the only thing that can release the red so I can't believe I did that. I actually can't believe I... How did I make that mistake? Ugh. Well, luckily, all sins can be erased. There we go. I always put these things in the wrong order. How did I... How many years have I been playing this game? Too many years. Or not enough years. One or the other. And I actually almost, like, fucked that up. Unbelievable. So, let's stick you there. And the god of the moon. Uh, Claire, if you could just... if Yep, yeah, work with me, Claire. Thank there, there, we, Yeah, there we go. Right, let's get Claire moving. And... Uh, just to do the hot step. There we go. Lovely. Perfect. I am <laughs> I am still fighting with the Dreamcast controller. However, I think this is going to be the last video of this set that I record. Uh, so hopefully next time I record this, I will have my Dreamcast uh, my new Dreamcast control pad. Hopefully. Uh, no guarantees, though. Right. Well, uh, let's... Yes, I suppose we shall take the gem. Uh, we're already in inventory slot down, but that's okay. Now, one thing I do like about RE2 as opposed to RE1 is <laughs> neither of the characters, Claire or Leon, have that stupid inventory limit, which I hate. I hate with a passion. We don't have to worry about uh, a lack of inventory slots in this game, which is fantastic. The stars office. Let's have a little poke around in here, see what our brother uh, used to call home when he was at work, anyway. Hmm. Well, it's not much, but uh, I guess it's all they had. Right, there are various <laughs> marksman contest winner, Chris Redfield. So, he's a good shot, huh? Okay. Right, let's search this desk right out. I think you've got to search it 50 times, and then we'll get the secret... Uh, hidden film which we can go develop. I mean, it's not that important really. All it is is uh, Rebecca Chambers I mean not to belittle Rebecca Chambers because she's a wicked character but uh, yeah as a secret film, it's not That amazing and if I shut up for 10 seconds listen to the music The early, oh, here it's, I don't know how to put it into words, to be honest, like how much I love the soundtrack in this game. Uh, it's the best RE soundtrack. I really do believe that. And there we go. The remake was good. 
you know, the, the, the soundtrack for the remake was good. But this is something else. This is absolutely fantastic. Now, ooh, so... Chris. Chris's diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. Well, yes, Chris. Yes, that's logical. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? <laughs> oh, Chris. Chris, dear child. They're just getting started. We talked it over, and I've decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Please, Capcom, can we have a game uh, with Chris, Jill, and Barry in it when they go to the Umbrella HQ in Europe? Please? Pretty please? Please? Because that's a bit of story that needs to be filled in. And what do we get? We get the Unicorn Medal. Indeed. Now, also, if we search... I've pushed the map again. I've failed. If we uh, search our items, or check, I should say, unfortunately, we don't get the cool 3D models that we got in the original game. Um, but, you know, they did bring that back in the remake, which is cool. The desk is disorganized and untidy. It probably reflects the owner's personality. <gasps> I feel personally attacked. I'll have you know that my desk is organized chaos. Right. It's a picture of a young man. There is a good chance it's her boyfriend. Aye. That's Jill's desk, I believe. Now, Rebecca. Uh, this is Rebecca's desk. There are unopened cardboard boxes. Looks like it's a rookie's desk. Yep. And uh, in that little pouch there. We will get, uh, what do you call it, an F8 spray, I think, in the second scenario. So let's have a little look in here, shall we? Oof. That ain't your mum's grenade launcher. That's some serious firepower. You've taken the G launcher. Now, unlike uh, Resident Evil 1... We can unload this and swap out ammunition as... Look at that monstrosity. I mean, she's a square beast, but there we go. Look at this monstrosity. So unlike uh, RE1, we can swap out ammo on the fly, which is really cool. Not sure why you couldn't in RE1. Anyway, there are various devices. This must be where they gathered information. Yeah, apparently that communications equipment has been destroyed, though. So uh, anyway, let's get out of here. Oop. Oh, the animations and the sound effects were so good in the originals. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Hmm. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Regarding the G-Virus, currently under development by Umbrella Inc., so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. 2. Regarding Mr. I Brian Irons, Chief of Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds and bribes from Umbrella Inc. over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the mansion lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. 
Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. Now, in the books, they go quite into this, from what I remember. And yeah, he's a he's a real nasty piece of work. And he actually tries to rape Claire in the book as well, which... Oh, boy. So, ugh, yeah. Yeah, nasty bastard. And in fact, the way they portray him in the remake is very good as well. Really good. Um two separate accounts during his years as a university student. He underwent a psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal uh, academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Yeah, so looks like Chris has been uh, poking a lot of... um, Ant hills and hornet's nests and termite mounds. He's uh, really been trying to get in there and get some answers. Now, we can't go through here yet, I don't think. Nope, because we need to go back and use the unicorn medal. Oh, that means we have to go past our friend, the liquor. Well, that's okay. We've got the grenade launcher now, so we can serve him up a fresh slice of his own fried ass. Which would be nice, because we kind of need to get rid of him. Alright, um, we still don't have the lighter yet either. We can't go through that door either, which I always wish that you could, but you can't. Uh, now, the reason that uh, the police station looks the way it does as well is explained in Remake. It used to be a museum. And uh, I thought that explanation was really good. Now, it's not really a spoiler, that's just a bit of information, but... I like the way they drop that in there. That, that you know, it used to be a museum. It makes sense. It's cool. I like that. I do. Now let's fiddle around. Let's put that back. We don't need three weapons. I mean, yeah, maybe we do. We've got to use the handgun up eventually. Item boxes are never really that far away, to be honest with you. So. Might as well hold on to them for now. Ah, and I've done it again. I pushed a fucking Y button. God damn it. Titan, you fool. So here we go. Recruit. There's Rebecca. Film D. That's all we get. That's literally all we get, you know. It's not much, is it? I mean, it's cool. You know, whatever. It, it, It is what it is, I guess. But it's... Hmm. Yeah, the more I think about that, the more I wish we kind of got something a little bit more substantial, you know? But hey, what the the fuck do I know? I'm just some jackass that sits in front of a microphone for way too many hours. And yes, the zombie arms. This was so cool back in the day. I remember, because... Young Beardless Titan was a coward, and uh, I remember playing this game for the first time uh, by myself. I played this game a lot with friends, and I was—I pretended to be a bit of a brave boy when I was around my friends, but uh, Little Titan, <laughs> no, Little Titan was not a brave boy. So, the one time Little Titan got up the courage to play this game by himself when he was a child, um, got to this bit. And got to the bit where the arms shoot out of the, the, the windows. And Little Titan got off his ass, and he had never turned off his PlayStation with such gusto and such speed in his life. And never since have I managed to recreate myself moving that fast. I think the Flash would have been proud. Ah, the shame. Now, we have this liquor here, who's kind of in the way, but not really. I mean, yeah, we could blast his ass, I guess. We could try that, but, you know, we're going to get so many grenade rounds, it's not not really an issue. Did I mention that this game is really easy? There we go. Pretty sure I mentioned that this game's really easy. So, he's gone. I mean... You might think, damn, man, you just blasted away three grenade rounds. Yeah. 
And grenade rounds are pretty easy come, easy go in this game. Ammo in general is, you know. Okay, so. Oh yeah, we're going to pass this item box as well. I was actually semi-tempted to blast that bloody zombie away with the uh, uh, Colt SA. But I don't know how effective that would be. Right, anyway, let's uh, use that. Oh, I love this cutscene. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Boop. So weird that they actually animated like a CG cutscene just um, for that. It, you know, just to see the statue slide forwards for... For well, I was gonna say 30 seconds, but it's not even that. So check. It's in the shape of a spade, certainly is. Now I gotta try and remember where we use this key. I think this gets us into the evidence room, question mark. Like I said, it's been a hot minute since I played this game. Um also the stars room, possibly that door up there it gets us in. And we've got another room that we uh, another hallway, I used to say, that we haven't even searched yet. Now, it definitely feels a lot faster to get around on the Dreamcast just because of the 60 FPS. I wish you could skip the doors animation, which is very cool. But just in the interest of getting a bit of a wiggle on, that's a heart. No, that's a spade room key. Okay. Um, I think it was a heart key in the re uh, remake. I can't remember now. It's been so long, damn it. Now, there's fuck all in here. I think there's a, yep. Patrol report. Patrol report. September 20th. Uh, half past nine. Reporter. Sergeant Neil Carson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual, uh, individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9x19 parabellum rounds and an infrared scope broken. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I think there's ink ribbons in here. There is. But. Uh, yeah. Why not? I suppose. Don't really need them. But we'll go for it. Um, now. Let's just yeah, get this ladder moved over. There we go. Give it a good old heave. Motherfucking hope. There we are. Now, up here is a crank. Hmm. A crank. What's a Resident Evil game without a crank? Not a Resident Evil game, I'd wager. I don't think there's anything else in here. For some reason, I always remember there being some other stuff in here, like some bullets. I, I don't know whether that's an early version of the game that I played somehow on an emulator or something, but I do remember. I think in my original LP, actually, I was looking for something in here. But I forget. I'm getting old, guys. Getting old. What happened, man? What happened? I got old, dude. I got old. Um, right. Uh, yeah, let's go back here. The arms don't actually come out again. Would have been cool if they did, like if they uh, activated every now and again, I think, but they do not. Anyway, we need to go back and jiggle our junk around because our box is, uh, well, Claire's pockets are full. Can we use that here? No, diamond, got ya. We need a key. It's locked. Yeah, she's locked all right. Okay, well, let's jiggle our junk around. We do not need the herb. We do not need those. We do not need that. We do need the spade key. Do we need that? Uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll roll with this. We've got plenty of item slots, to be honest. We have plenty. We s so, we've only got the spade key. Ah, oh, that's okay. Luckily, I do know where all the keys are. 
Luckily, I know where pretty much everything is. I'm a bit fuzzy with which... Like, I know where all the locked doors are. I just can't remember which key goes where. You know, because I'm getting old and forgetful and very, very tired as well. I have been, you know, I've, I've been up for nearly 20 hours at this point. <laughs> 11 of that was at work in the rain, which is, it's not as much fun as it sounds, actually. Oh, it's thunder. Oh, yes, here we go. This is the right way. Sherry. Yeah, I'm going to help you, Sherry. Don't you worry about a thing. We got this guy sorted. Come on, buddy. Did you literally just lunge at me? Well, that was weird. Now, also, you can hit these guys as they try to stand up. And I've pushed them up again. I've just pushed to go in and have a look at my menu. But I don't need to do that. Because I have a Dreamcast controller. I know how many bullets I have. There we go. I thought it was this one. So yes, we had thunder and lightning at work today, which was fantastic. I love thunder and lightning. Hey, but Leon's looking very depressed. Leon. Leon. Claire, you made it. Yeah. New clothes too. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. <laughs> Who is she? But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. All right. Anything else? I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Leon's just going to, like, stand there forever. And uh, carry on being depressed. I like the way Claire's just like doling out all of the fucking orders. Claire's in charge. I mean, to be fair, uh, she's Redfield, so yeah, I believe that's the other. That that's the door we tried to open. I think I'm not sure. And I said I I wish we could open that door. Yeah, right there, buddy. Wow, he's quite a chunk bigger than Claire. I never realised their models were different sizes. Actually, that's a nice little bit of detail. Right, what's in here? Oof. Oof. Yes, please. Flame rounds. Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, the music. It's too good, guys. Ah, we forgot the crank. Well, that's okay. Right, let's take this red. Yank. Actually, that's fine, because we don't need the crank yet. Because we haven't got the cog, so... Uh, I need to stop getting ahead of myself, I suppose. Right, let's go. Let's have a little look around here. Gee, I hope we don't, like, fall through the floor. That'd be really awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> Whoops. On your feet, soldier. Right, what have we got here? Hmm, a bronze plate with a picture on it. Yes. Yes. Well, let's push this and get the frick out of Dodge. Um, right. So, I guess we need to move these, don't we? Um, that one needs to go left. A little bit like that. I guess you need to go left as well, don't you, buddy? All oh, right. Now, I think these two need to go right, don't they? Yes. I think that's right. That's the right answer. Yeah, they do. Idiot. I fucked that up. And then that one to the right as well, because the right is the right answer. There we go. And there's our first plate. Oh, uh, we better take that, because that looks important. Hmm. The stone tablet. Right, well, we better take that, just in case. Uh, we might find a use for it later. 
Uh, we could go up there, but there's no point yet because there's nothing we can do up there. I used to think there was something in here, in that pot, but I guess not. I always thought, what was it, that there was a uh, ink ribbon, I believe. Hey, zombies. Well, let's unload. Two rounds left. Come on, buddy. Do you want the last two? Nope. Oh, you greedy son of a bitch. And I pushed the wrong button. A vibration is off. I thought it was. Alright, well, you asked for this, buddy. He's done. Yep, so much freaking faster to fire this gun. Oof. So much faster. Claire, thank you. And even the reload, you know? The reload's quick. It's really quite snappy. There's nothing down here, I don't think. No, getting confused with the remake. Although the layout is slightly different on the remake, you know? But it's nice. Right, let's get the ladder down, because this ladder is incredibly handy. There we go. That's going to link these two areas up, so we have uh, a nice shortcut there. Four rounds left in the cult, that's fine. On your knees, buddy. Come on, get up. Right, he's done. Three rounds left. I love the Colt. It's such a cool gun. Um, I don't... Yeah, did we get a Colt in the remake? I can't remember. And here we are in another save room, guys. Yes, this should be the lighter. I. We have another report here. Now, I think every new typewriter you come across seems to have ink ribbons. Uh, unlike the first game. The first game wasn't that generous with the ink ribbons. Uh, so, Chief Secretary's Diary A. April 6th, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. It's as if, if it's so important, then maybe it shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th, I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery. Where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them, and why is he bringing them into the into work to decorate? Yeah, it seems a bit weird, but okay. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. Uh, this time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anybody would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. Yes, well. I could tell you things about that chief. Things that you'd rather probably not know. And we are almost out of time again, guys. Uh, our time together is very fleeting. Okay. Uh, that can go now. Right, key items can go down here. Do we need, do we need the grenade launcher right now? Maybe not. Maybe we don't need the grenade launcher. Right, well, uh, I guess we could go out here quickly. And have a little poke around. Should we run down to the back office? From yeah. Let's go back. This, uh, okay. Let's go do this quickly. We'll make time for it. Right. Now, let's go see this fellow over here. Hey, birds. He's been pecked to death. Certainly has. Look, bird. Oi, enough of that. 
Enough of that. I don't like to be touched. We're on caution. Right, he's got a, a small amount of handgun bullets. Seriously, bird. Bastard things. I like to shoot a lot of them, really. Uh, let's have a little poke around down here, shall we? Ah, this is this is so ominous. The music here, or the background music, I should say, it's terrifying. And this isn't actually the area that I was thinking about going to. We'll come down here, obviously, but we'll come down here later. Let's try and knock one area off the uh, the list at a time. Okay, so if we go this way, we all right piss off. And the music intensifies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrifying stuff. I have a beard. I am protected with the power of beard. Right, there's the helicopter. Let's go down here. See our friendos. This, you know, this is very similar. Um, it different, but it's similar to uh, the remake, which is cool. All right, you bastards. Come on. Let's see if we can kite you. I love the sound of the gravel crunching as well. Oof, oof. Come on, zombie. Come get me. Come get me. Come get me. Yeah, you sneeze and lose. Come on, friend. This way. This way. Almost. Almost had me. You almost had me. Son of a bitch. You alright, buddy? You ain't got nothing, man. Ain't even worth the bullets. I do like putting down all the zombies in this game. And there is absolutely enough ammo to put all the zombies down. But uh, there's just there's no point in putting those guys down. Um, nothing in here really apart from, oh, I don't know. The frickin' bow gun, some ink ribbons, and that. Yes, we will take the valve handle, absolutely. And we shall take the ink ribbons because why not? Holy crap, how many like ink ribbons does this game give you? It like throws them at us. Jeez, right, yeah, we'll take the bow gun. 18 rounds. That would usually be the second bow gun. And you know what? Let's just get out of here. Fuck this. We're off. Oh. Oh, wait, maybe not. Psych! Alright, well, nuts to that plan, Claire. Uh, this is the way that uh, Leon actually comes into the police station. Or Claire, if you play Claire in Scenario B. Right, let's try and get past these guys. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Uh, these guys might tr prove a little bit more troublesome. Or not. Fuck you guys, I'm out. Fuck you guys, I am out. It's definitely a lot easier to dodge it than 60 FPS. Watch now as I screw up royally. Alright. Because I genuinely suck at dodging. Uh, I'm really bad at it. There is knacks to it and there's frames. You can get frame perfect dodges and stuff like that. I'm not good enough. I can't get it. I just can't. But, um, so, I'm terrible at dodging. But I'm noticing that without a doubt it's easier with this frame rate. It really is. Okay, well, let's have a little fiddle around here. The helicopter is a complete wreck. Yes, it is. But there should be... Is there not bullets here? Can I have some bullets, please? I'm sure there's bullets. Was that in the B scenario? Yeah. Well, that's a load of old ass. I guess that's in the B scenario that there's bullets there. Ooh. Ooh. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go see where our birds are. Hey, Burb. 
Hey, Burb. Um, right, let's go back and save it. Now, we have neither of the items that we actually need to go do that bit. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, if. Yeah, we don't actually have. Oh, we could do this bit, I suppose. Oof. Although we can't quite do that bit yet because we need the. Um, there's bullets in here, though, I think. Yeah, we can't quite do this bit yet because we need both of the gems. This room's cool. Is there ammo in here? I'm sure there's ammo in here. Nothing. Well. Ah. Uh, yes, yeah, so well, we get the diamond key at least, I suppose. I'm sure there's ammo in here. Hmm. I might be getting confused again with the uh, with B scenario. Yep, looks like it. Yeah, shotgun shells, but I, I really remember some handgun bullets in there, but hey, I guess not. Right, well, with the diamond key, we can get into the evidence room downstairs, which is good. We've got to go back downstairs anyway, because we have to um, use the lighter to get the gem. And then we can go into the evidence room. We can go to the the actual main police office then. And we shall sort that out. Right, let's jiggle our junk around. Because hot damn, we get a lot of items in this difficulty. We don't need the bow gun. Do we need the bow gun? We don't need the bow gun. We do need the lighter, we don't need that. We don't need the valve handle now for a very, 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 very long time. Um, yeah, so we can forget about that for now. But, my friends, that is going to have to do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm loving this. I don't actually want to stop playing it, but, you know, things like work get in the way. Curses! Can you imagine not working? Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, till then guys, thanks for watching.